three takeaways from the Emergent Industrial Metaverse paper. It was recently published by MIT Technology Review in partnership with Siemens. What it is, virtual commissioning and high fidelity digital twins. First one, what it is. The industrial metaverse means many things to many people. There's all sorts of definitions out there. And a lot of people see it as hype. But whatever you think about when you hear the term industrial metaverse, think about these characteristics. It's fully immersive, it's real time, it is interactive, it's persistent, and it is a synchronous representation and simulation of the real world. Now there's a lot to unpack in there and there's a lot of things we need to do to make all that happen, but that's where we're headed, that type of an environment. Second one, virtual commissioning. A lot of people, see a lot or read the reports and they go, yeah, but this is all in the future. Have you heard of virtual commissioning? Now, if you're designing and building factories or production lines or buildings today, you'll have been doing virtual commissioning for years. So you say, that's not new. But 99% of the people out there in business today don't do that. So they might not have ever heard that today people take entire designs of buildings, factories, production lines, products, cars, helicopters. They design the entire thing in a virtual 3D world. They run all sorts of simulations, including writing the software that will run on the boxes that are in the finished product and simulate everything working. And then it is financially signed off going, yeah, that'll work. And then they start to build it. That's virtual commissioning. That happens today, right? So this is where a lot of this stuff is being built on. And the last one, high fidelity digital twins. Throughout the report, you'll hear about the foundational building block for all of this is the digital twin. And many people will say to me, Kev, okay, we've had digital twins for years. We have loads of them in my company. You do. What's different about where we're headed is that we're talking about high fidelity digital twins. And what do we mean by high fidelity? We're talking an incredible level of detail, real time information detail, real time engineering grade models. Now, you're not going to get all that in one system. You're going to get that from multiple systems, many of which you'll have today, but you put it all together and that's where you get this high fidelity digital twin. That's where you can do all the simulation about what happens if I speed up my production line by 10% right now, not based on how I designed it 10 years ago, right now. So the concept of this high fidelity digital twin, it's different to what we have today. That's where we're headed. So look, I had the opportunity to collaborate with the team on this. Uh, my quote in the conclusions is about, look, to me, this is simply the next phase of our digitalization of industry, of, of how we work. It's inevitable. Now, you'll have many different opinions, but I would, you know, my, my ask to everybody is that, like, go off and find out what's going on. Have a read of the report. And if you just look in the last couple of weeks, what Siemens, NVIDIA, Bentley Systems, BMW, Microsoft and others have all been announcing around the industrial metaverse. Just this week, we had Unity bring or release their Unity industry solutions for, for industry. And in a couple of weeks time, you've, you've Hanover Mesa. Siemens have an entire industrial metaverse track running during the, their presence there. And as you wander around Hanover Message, just look at the amount of people that will be talking about digital twits, simulation, immersive experiences. You know, in my opinion, this stuff's happening. Now, we have a long way to go to get to the, the ultimate thing. We'll never be there, right? It's like digitalization. But look, have a read. Make up your mind, your own mind on what this means for you and for your company. But look, don't ignore this stuff.